In this video, I'm just demonstrating a uh, MicroPython driver that I wrote for uh, using the M5 stack input buttons to emulate an encoder. So a press of this uh, button A, I'm, I'm interpreting as a left encoder turn. Uh, press of the uh, button B is a right encoder turn. And then button C is an encoder press. And then by doing that, then we can cycle, we can add uh, widgets, so buttons, or uh, I've also shown a switch here. We can add those widgets to the group corresponding to that input driver for the buttons, and then we can use the button to toggle a uh, state of complex widgets like a switch or a drop down list, or for simple wid or for simple buttons, then pressing the button will uh, either toggle the state or uh, if, if it's not set to a toggle button, then it will just press the button. And I just want to note that all of the code for the input for this was written as a MicroPython driver. Uh, I've got a notebook, a Jupyter notebook that I've written. I'm not going to go through all the details here, but the, the main idea here is that we can write uh, interrupt handlers for the uh, pins corresponding to the A, B, and C buttons on the M5 stack, so 39, 38, 37 are, are correspond to buttons A, B, and C. And then we're attaching to those interrupts uh, just an update of an encoder state. So uh, if the A button is pressed, then we're going to increment the count of the left presses uh, corresponding uh, to any press of the A button. For the B button, or we would increment the right uh, count and then for the C button we would just toggle the state of this pressed uh, and then from there uh, we can create an input driver just using the MicroPython API to little VGL and then in the uh, callback this gets called by the little VGL by itself and it will uh, calculate the uh, encoder ticks by subtracting the uh, left from the right and uh, then it will reset those counts. Um, and then for the pressed state it will take the pressed state from the uh, encoder object encoder state object that was set by the interrupt handler and then it will set the corresponding state of the uh, within the callback to notify little VGL whether or not the button is pressed or released. And then given that, that's all that's really necessary to set that up. Uh, we could easily modify this type of driver to support the actual encoder from M5, uh, which I should be receiving in the mail next week sometime. Uh, but for now, uh, as we can see, we can use the buttons to emulate that behavior. So it's just a matter of uh, using the buttons to cycle through and this should allow us to build build more complex UIs and uh, in this example that I have this this is a scrolling page so if we add more buttons uh, then they will spill over and uh, as you toggle through the page will scroll to uh, show any whatever button or widget is in focus and so that way we should be able to create uh, more complex uh, GUIs solely using MicroPython.